So each year, the Houston Health Department investigates about 150 new tuberculosis cases. Now, this is a disease that's not only dangerous, but it can spread to others if a patient is not careful. Joining us to talk about this, Dr. David Purse, back with us, Chief Medical Officer for the City of Houston. Doctor, good morning. Uh, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Uh, first of all, what is tuberculosis and why is it so dangerous? Well, tuberculosis is a bacterial illness, but it's a special kind of bacteria. You know, it's a mycobacterium, and it can infect pretty much any organ system in the body. Now, we hear about it mostly when it infects people's lungs because uh, that contributes to how it spreads, but it is unique in that it can infect any organ system in the body, the, the brain, the, the kidneys, the stomach, the heart. Uh, any organ system is at risk for being infected and, and suffering damage. But is that, and, and that is spread only through the lungs, or is it other ways? It is almost exclusively spread through uh, an aerosol. So somebody who is infected would need to have active lesions in their lung or perhaps their throat. And if they cough or if they're singing or if they're speaking loudly, um, it, the bacteria will get in the air. And the other thing is that this bacteria kind of floats very uh, easily in the air. It's not like the droplets that will go to the ground quickly. So those that are closest to them can easily breathe it in and then become infected themselves. The other problem or the other challenge, I should say, with tuberculosis is that people don't immediately get symptomatic with it so they can harbor the bacteria in their body for long periods of time and not know that they're infected Now they don't spread it then but they do need to be treated at that point so that they don't get to the point where they can spread it I think that'll definitely scare some people thinking about well anything you can have in your body right and not know that it's happening the other side of that is that tuberculosis can be cured I understand but you have to take the medication regularly yeah, so tuberculosis absolutely can be cured, uh, but this is the point. So we like to get a hold of folks who have been infected but don't have any symptoms yet so we can start treating them. But you have to take the therapy um, on a, a very regimented basis. And, in fact, the Houston Health Department, we go out about 2,500 times a year to actually give the medicine to the folks and watch them take it, make sure they take it the way they're supposed to. And then sometimes the therapy can last months before we can actually get rid of this. It's not like most things where you take a, an antibiotic for a week or two and you're done. This can go on for months. And so it's a real challenge. Tuberculosis, that's another way it's different. It's a real challenge to treat, but it, it can be successfully treated. Absolutely. And, you know, doctor, this is something that, at least from here in the news department, sort of pops up on our radar from time to time. Maybe there, there's an outbreak in certain places. It, is there any rhyme or reason to where these cases occur or when, maybe the time of year? Is there any, any sort of link between all of that? Yeah, unfortunately, no, that's one of our big challenges is that, you know, um, anybody can become infected with it. Now, certainly, if you're somebody who's got an, a compromised immune system, as we've seen with COVID and other illnesses, you're at greater risk for contracting it and actually you're at greater risk of becoming sick with it once you're infected. Otherwise, healthy people can be infected and it'll just sleep inside your body if you don't know it until it becomes active. But that's the window when we want to treat it before it becomes active. And so, you know, and it's a global illness, too. So we see it in, you know, here in the United States, we're pretty good at getting on top of folks who are infected and, and getting rid of their illness so it doesn't spread. Other parts of the world, less so much the case. And, and it's a global uh, community today. So we get folks coming in from all over the world and not just from low income nations, some very, you know, progressive of nations will have tuberculosis outbreaks and they'll come here by aircraft. And it seems like, I mean, if it's spread by the lungs, then some of the, I guess, common wisdom of masks and things like that are probably the only way to help. Well, I think that the one thing that for the average viewer today is recognized is if you've got a, a, a cough and you can't figure out why, you need to go to your doctor and get checked out. Also, if you're an international traveler, that's another sort of risk factor that you may have come across someone in another country. Um, if you spend a lot of time with people who've got, you know, immune problems, uh, perhaps, you know, healthcare workers, for example, we're always making sure that, you know, uh, talk to each other about making sure that we get our, our uh, tuberculosis test, make sure we haven't contracted from a patient. So it's you got to be a little bit smarter than the the disease, I always tell folks, and use your head. And uh, if you need to be tested, talk to your doctor and you can get the test done. And I guess the last thing I'd ask you, doctor, is there an age where you would not suspect? I mean, is there, is, in other words, is it, is it, could you be too young to get tuberculosis? Or if that cough's lingering even in a child, would we ask about it? So obviously children are less exposed to the general public, you know, especially when they're really, really little, right? Because the parents, you know, uh, you know, keep them at home and maybe they just have some play dates and so on and so forth. Right. Uh, but absolutely, we have seen little children who've been infected with tuberculosis. So anyone is at risk. Gotcha. Um, again, it's that high level of vigilance. And like I said, you got to be smarter than the disease. Stay on your toes and uh, talk to your doctor. 
Very helpful. I always enjoy our conversations. Dr. David Purse, Houston Health Department. Thank you again, sir. Thank you. Okay, have a great day. And don't forget, folks, you can go to click2houston.com slash scene at seven for more. We talk to the doctor each and every week. So if you, you, know, you may have missed an interesting topic over the last couple of weeks, that's a good place to catch up.